Hey guys, it's me again, Marky, and welcome back to my channel. If bago pa lang kayo sa channel na to, please don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell para updated kayo sa mga bagong educational videos na i-upload ko tulad nito. So this is part 2 of the EdTech series na ginagawa ko dito sa akin channel tungkol sa Google Classroom. For this tutorial, I'm gonna teach you how to use Google Classroom as a teacher and as a student. For teachers, I'm gonna show you how to create assignments and give it to your students in Google Classroom. For students, I'm gonna show you how to access these assignments given to you by your teacher in Google Classroom. So please continue watching. By the way, in Google Classroom, may isang free online collaboration tool developed by Google for teachers and students. This tool is very helpful when it comes to distance learning or online learning. So how to use the Classwork tab in Google Classroom for teachers and students? The Classwork tab is the home base for all the class content and assignments. In here, teachers can post resource materials such as syllabus, topic-related readings, assignments, discussions, questions, and quizzes. So to start, just click the Classwork tab at the top, and then makikita nyo na dito yung Create button. Ayan. So as teachers, I suggest you make topic sections para mas maging organized yung Classwork ninyo, and your students will be able to locate the assignments and Classworks na ibibigay nyo sa kanila. So first, what we are going to do is click Topic. So for example, we have chapter 1. And then magkakaroon ka na ng topic. Another is, for example, we have chapter 2. After creating topic sections, you can actually click and drag so that mas maging organized yung classwork tab ninyo. Next is how to create a material na pwedeng gamitin ng inyong mga estudyante. So all you have to do is click create and then material. In here, for example, you can write syllabus or course guide for MIL. So makikita nyo dito, pwede kayong mag-add ng Google Drive file, pwede rin link, file, or a YouTube video. So for example, we'll be using the Google Drive file. And then you can actually attach files to it, for example this one, and then click add. It will automatically add a file na gusto nyo i-share sa inyong mga estudyante. So for this part here, pwede nyo i-share for example sa isang klase or sa lahat ng klase sa Google Classroom ninyo. You can also select an option here to share this to all the students or to individual students. So sa topic, you can select this one kung saan mo siya gustong ilagay. But for this example, we will not put a topic. We will just click post. So ayun na, makikita nyo na dito sa taas yung file na nilagay nyo sa inyong Google Classroom. So if you want to organize it or drag it into another chapter or topic, you can just click and drag. Okay. So another is how to create or add a question. So just click create and question. So for example, you, you'll be asking, so in here you can also choose kung ano yung gustong sagot ng estudyante ninyo, short answer ba or multiple choice. So for this example, we'll just leave it as short answer. For so points naman, you can add, for example, 10 points for that question. Or you can just choose and read it. Another is you can set the due date or the deadline para sagutan ng mga estudyante yung tanong. For example, this one. Okay. And then for topic, ilagay natin siya dito sa intro for MIL. So students can reply to each other. You can select that. And students can edit their answer. You can also check that. And then all you have to do is go here at the top and then click ask. And then makikita na yan ng mga estudyante nyo dito sa chapter 1, intro to MIL, kasi nga dyan natin nilagay sa topic na yan. So ano ba yung makikita ng estudyante ninyo pag binigyan nyo sila ng question or ng material? So punta tayo dito sa ating student view. So para sa mga estudyante, just click classwork. And then makikita nyo yung topic na nilagay ng teacher nyo, tapos yung mga nilagay niyang material, for example, the course guide for MIL, ito na yung binigay ng teacher. All you have to do is click the title 
and then view material. Tapos, click nyo na ito. Tapos, makikita nyo na yun. Another is itong question na tinanong ng inyong teacher. You can click that one and then view the question. What are your expectations for this subject? So, dito sa upper right, you can click and answer the question. And then, after sagutin mo yung tanong, you, all you have to do is click turn in para ipasa na sa teacher mo yung sagot mo. Once nasabit mo na yung sagot sa tanong, you can also see your classmate's answer by clicking here or reply to your classmate's answer. Balik naman tayo dito sa teacher's view. Teachers, you can also use the create button and create material para mag-share ng link to your students para meron silang babasahin or for example, resource material na pwede nilang basahin. I have a link here na pwede natin kopyahin. Tapos, all we have to do is click add and then add link. Then paste the link. Then add link. I can also select a topic, for example, intro to MIL. And then post it para mabasa ng mga estudyante. Another feature of the Classwork tab is for the teachers to be able to create assignments. So, all you have to do is click create para gumawa ng assignment. Tapos, click mo yung assignment. So, for example, yung assignment natin is ito. So, after that, you can select a class kung saan mo gustong i-assign itong assignment na ito, and then all the students, and then assign points to the assignment. For example, 30 points. Due date is, of course, what, two days from now? And then this belongs to chapter 1. So, you can actually assign and click this one, or can also schedule this assignment or save it as draft. Another way is to add a Google Drive file for your students to edit para mas madali silang makapag-submit ng kanilang assignment. So all you have to do is click Add and then Google Drive. And then select mo yung assignment na gusto mong ibigay sa iyong mga estudyante. So in here, makikita mo kung ano yung pwedeng magawa ng iyong mga estudyante. So you can choose Students Can View File, Students Can Edit the Original File, or students can, or Google Classroom will make a copy for each student. I think ito yung pinaka ideal sa lahat. Make a copy for each student. Anong ginagawa ng Google Classroom dito is binibigyan niya ng kopya yung lahat ng estudyante mo sa Google Classroom para makapag edit sila ng kanilang individual file. Pagkatapos, you can click assign para ibigay na ito sa mga estudyante mo. So ayun na, nakikita niyo na dito yung binigay niyong assignment ninyo para sa inyong mga estudyante. So, para sa mga estudyante naman, puntahan natin yung classwork tab ninyo if natanggap niyo na ba yung assignment na binigay ng teacher ninyo dito sa Google Classroom. So, all you have to do is click Classwork. And, ayan, meron yung binigay yung teacher ninyong assignment 1, examples of media. All you have to do is, para sagutan ito, all you have to do is click this one. And then, View Assignment. So, ito yung main assignment page ninyo. Tapos, since binigyan kayo ng individual copy ng teacher ninyo na pwede nyo i-edit, all you have to do is click this one, your work, para i-edit nyo na yung assignment ninyo. So, as you can see, automatically, yung file na yan ay may pangalan ninyo kasi nga binigyan kayo ng teacher ninyo ng kopya ng assignment na ito. So, all you have to do is answer the assignment. For example, After answering the assignment, you can actually submit your assignment to your teacher by simply clicking this Turn In button at the upper right corner of the page. So just click Turn In. Tapos babalik kayo sa class page na kung saan tatanungin kayo if you really want to submit your assignment. So all you have to do is just click Turn In. After turning in or submitting your assignment, makikita nyo dito yung turn in na nakasulat. But if you want to edit your answer, all you have to do is click unsubmit and then you can edit your assignment and submit it again. Now, let's go back to the teacher's view and see kung ano yung mangyayari if nagsubmit na yung mga estudyante ninyo. So, teachers, all you have to do is click the assignment. Tapos, makikita nyo dito yung one turn in. Ibig sabihin, may isang estudyante ng nag-submit ng kanyang assignment. To check the assignment, all you have to do is click Turn In. And then, makikita nyo dito si Jason student na nag-submit na. If you want to check it, all you have to do is click the submitted file by Jason, for example. So, ayan na yung sagot ni Jason sa ating assignment. 
If tama lahat ng sagot ng yung studyante, you can actually grade the assignment by simply looking at the right part of the page under grade. You can actually put there, for example, 30 over 30. So just like how we do it inside the classroom, kailangan talaga natin ibalik yung mga assignments na sinabmit ng ating mga estudyante. So in Google Classroom, all you have to do is click Return in the upper right. Kikita nyo dito yung score, and then click Return. So, balik naman tayo dito sa student view. Ano ang mangyayari pag isinaulit na ng teacher ninyo yung inyong assignment na binigyan ng grade? So, all you have to do is click Assignment 1, for example, and then View Assignment. So, makikita nyo dito sa upper right, word na graded, it means binigyan na ng grade ng teacher ninyo yung assignment ninyo. So for the students, dito mo rin makikita yung score na binigay ng inyong teacher sa iyong assignment. Just an additional information for the students, makikita mo lahat ng inyong isinabmit na classwork dito sa classwork tab sa pamamagitan ng view work. Ito, all you have to do is click view work. Tapos makikita mo na yung lahat ng sinabmit mo sa teacher mo tapos yung mga grades mo or grades na binigay ng teacher mo. And also additional information for the teachers, Dito sa taas, sa my grades tab, pwede nyo rin i-click yan. Tapos dito makikita mo lahat ng grades na binigay mo sa iyong mga estudyante at yung mga assignment na binigay mo sa kanila. So that's it guys. I hope you learned how to use your classwork tab in your Google Classroom for both teachers and students. For the next video para sa mga teachers, tuturuan ko kayo kung paano gumawa ng quizzes inside Google Classroom sa pamamagitan ng paggamit ng Google Forms. And for the students, tuturuan ko naman kayo kung paano sumagot ng quizzes inside Google Classroom. So for the part 3 of this tutorial, just use this link. This has been your friend, Sir Marky. Thank you for watching. Laban lang!